Throughout the ages, many plagues have stormed the world. Deadly diseases that kill off millions at a time. One of the first, and one of the worst, was the Plague of Athens. Plague so powerful, it was said to have caused the destruction of mighty Athens itself. What happened? How did the plague start? It all began because of the Polyponnesian War. Athens was a mighty city in the heart of Greece, with some of the greatest scientists, armies, and politicians around, Athens seemed unbeatable. Until Sparta came along. Sparta definitely didn't have as good scientists or politicians. Their whole city was centered around war. All the men were trained for fighting, while all the women did all the other jobs. If anybody got sick, they were instantly seen as weak and executed. This led to maybe not the happiest, but the strongest city. Every day, the cities grew larger, more powerful. Every so often, they would even throw insults at each other. With this, the war seemed unavoidable. The war started in 431 BC, and after just two years of fighting, Athens seemed very close to succeeding. While Sparta had stuck to land-based attacks, being able to summon large land armies, the Athenians retreated behind the city walls of Athens. They hoped to keep the Spartans at bay while the superior Athenian navy harassed Spartan troop transports and cut off supply lines. Unfortunately, the strategy also resulted in adding many people from the countryside to the already well-populated city. This started to cause lack of food and other supplies that were necessary for the city to survive. Due to the close quarters and the poor hygiene exhibited at the time, Athens became a breeding ground for disease. This is when the plague first started. It is believed to have entered Athens through Pyrrhus, the city's port and sole source of food and supplies. Countless citizens were killed, including Pericles, the ruler of Athens at the time, his first wife, and his sons, Perilus and Sathipus. Athens lost perhaps one-third of the people sheltered within its walls. The sight of the burning funeral pyres of Athens caused the Spartan army to withdraw from fear of the disease. They didn't stop them completely. It just slowed them down. The plague had come in two waves. The first in 429 BC, killing about 33% of the population at the time, and the second from 427 to 426 BC, killing about 26% of the remaining population. All in all, it had killed about 75,000 people to 100,000 people just in Athens and surrounding areas but it did not just affect Athens, but much of Europe as well, including Sparta. After the death of Pericles, Athens was said to be led by a succession of leaders who were described as incompetent or weak. It was also stated that people ceased fearing the law since they felt that they were already living under a death sentence. Likewise, People started spending all their money madly. Many felt that they would not live long enough to enjoy the benefits of a wise investment. Also, some poor unexpectedly became wealthy by inheriting the property of their relatives. It was also recorded that people refused to behave honorably because most does not expect to live long enough to enjoy a good reputation for it. The disease that caused the disaster is still unknown, even though it is believed to be either typhoid, typhus, smallpox, or measles. Some symptoms that were said to have occurred was rapid onset, fever.
fever, red eyes, running nose and sneezing, red throat hoarseness or even foul breath. These were all at the early stages. After that, we could see resting convulsions, livid red rash, blisters, sores, and sensation of extreme internal heat. And then at the later stages, sleepiness, body or extremity gangrene, loss of sight, loss of memory, or healthy until death by exhaustions, and diarrhea. But I don't want to draw that. Let's just say we were lucky not to have to experience this. Thanks for watching.